we have already identified the entities uh, for this uh, database and now we are going to develop our ERD so we have department entity we have employee entity we have division uh, and we have project and also we need to address the issue between uh, project and employee because there's a man to man relationship between them so let's start creating our entities start with uh, department a department uh, employs many employees but each employee is employed by one department for primary keys and attributes let's start out with our primary key which is a unique index number let's call it department ID you can call it department code department number uh, an attribute name that is uh, just pick something that's uh, as descriptive as possible and not too long and department name and again we are not using any uh, white spaces if you are going to use space use underscore and we have a department name and that's all for this one at this point another one is the employee again we have employee ID we have employee first name employee last name We identified a one-to-many relationship uh, from department to employee side. So there is this one-to-many relationship. But to establish a relationship, these two entities must share a key, must share an attribute. And we call the attribute a foreign key. Uh, the question is where you're going to place that foreign key. It's going to place in department entity or it's going to be placed in employee entity. Uh, as a general rule, when you are developing an ERD, basically you will end up with an uh, ERD that's composed of lots of one-to-many relationships. And foreign keys are placed on the many side of a relationship. Because it's how you can manage. Think about there's an employee, employee Jane, uh, Jane Doe, and department ID 5, employee uh, Jack Fisher, um, uh, department ID 2, so that's how you can manage that kind of information but if you were to put employee ID let's say in department table you cannot manage unless you create some uh, redundancy because uh, department ID information must be and along with department name information must repeat for each employee in department entity uh, therefore you need to place department ID as your foreign key in employee entity and let's edit here so that you wouldn't cause any redundancies uh, whenever you feel confused just remember that foreign keys are placed on the many sides of a relationship okay now we are going to connect these two we identify that this is one to many relationship we know that the next part is we need to identify whether this relationship is strong or weak uh, to be able to identify the strength of a relationship, you need to make sure that uh, those two entities share a, a primary key, share a key, and this part of the primary key. In this case, those two entities, these two entities, share department ID, and it is not a part of the primary key in employee entity. Therefore, this relationship is weak. In other words, if you look at the primary keys of these two entities, do they share a, an attribute? No, they do not. Therefore, the relationship strength is weak. When there is a relationship uh, strength is weak, we use a dashed line to indicate that. Other part is this is one to many. From one side is being the department side, and many side being the employee side. We know that. But the other part that we need to identify is the participation. Whether any of these uh, any size of this relationship is optional to uh, the other uh, to other side. So we look at the next business rule, which, uh, which says some employees may not be assigned to any department. So we might have some departments for which there is no uh, employee assigned to it. Since the relationship, uh, a 
expresses by department employees and employee. Therefore, uh, a department must have at least one employee to be a department. Because of that, employee side of this relationship is required. However, department side is optional because some employees may not be assigned to a department. Therefore, department side of this relationship is optional. And department side is the one side of the relationship. So we are going to pick from here, left bottom corner. This is one to one relationship. The one side is optional. And we are going to select dash line and use this zigzag line button here press it now you can you can pull from these little green dots so one side is going to go to department id on this department entity once it connects you can see the the box is highlighted and main side goes to oh, connect okay then the main side goes to again the employee entity then you like to connect to the the foreign key so that ERD shows you know how they are connected how these two entities they are connected through a department ID once they are connected uh, this way you can easily move these uh, entities around because once uh, your ERD grows you have addition once you have additional uh, entities you like to uh, you may want to change the layout okay now we have this part taken care of uh, next, we need to create a division because a division operates many departments, but each department is operated by one division. So there is a one-to-many relationship again from division to department, and there is no optionality specified here. So both sides of the relationship is required. And let's create a division entity here. say div id as our primary key and next div name okay now we identified there is a one to many relationship between division and department and the one side being the division and the main side is being the main side is the this relationship is department so we remember that we place foreign key on the main side of a relationship Therefore, we need to edit the department entity and add a new attribute called division ID, which is foreign key. And this is how I can connect. So this is a one to one relationship. Since these two entities uh, do not share a primary key, uh, therefore, uh, relationship is weak. And there is no optionality here. A department must be assigned to a division, must be un placed under a division, uh, and a division must have at least one department so that it can be a division. Therefore, this is a weak relationship, but it is one to many, and both sides are required. So we are going to pick this one, and one side is being the division. Just move this thing to the side of division ID, and other one to the division ID here. So we specify this one to many relationship. So let's name these relationships here. So department employees and a division operates. Okay. Now we'll move on to the project entity. Uh, 